The purpose of this project is to optically track a surgical tool, such as an aspirator, to predict where the tip of the tool is when its view is obstructed. This method of tracking would ideally be applied to intracranial neurosurgery to replace more expensive and invasive methods. Originally, the Microsoft Connect was being used to track the tool, but this has since been replaced with a simple webcam since the depth sensing camera in the Connect did not provide the desired accuracy and couldn't be used to produce sufficient results. The current approach uses the webcam to track a checkerboard and two small spheres on the tool. The accuracy and speed of the color tracking has significantly improved since the new approach is an implementation of contour tracking which does not require background subtraction. Instead, a color filter with upper and lower color value thresholds is used to identify each sphere in the pixels. Once the location of the approximate center of each sphere is known, the tip can be calculated by a simple spatial translation. The white dots superimposed on the image are the prediction of the center of the spheres. The red dot is the prediction taken from the checkerboard as demonstrated in the first video, and the blue dot is the prediction of the tip taken from the spheres. An estimate of the z-axis, which is the distance away from the camera, can be taken from the checkerboard tracking method. The spheres produce no estimate for the z-axis, but as seen in the video, produce a better estimate than the checkerboard tracking for the x and y axes. The y-axis of this plot is the error in millimeters, in other words, the absolute value of the actual distance minus the predicted distance. The x-axis is the distance from the camera in millimeters. The y-values were calculated by taking the average error over 20 successful tracked frames. It should be noted that these results only represent a very approximate error, since variation in lighting plays a huge factor in the success of image tracking. Future plans for the project involve use of Elite Motion Controller. This is a depth camera that has submillimeter tracking accuracy. One idea is to use this in combination with the color tracking to significantly improve the accuracy, but the ideal approach is to track the surgical tool using only the leap and the tool without the aid of spheres or a checkerboard. This latter approach is currently in the development process. The leap controller is able to track objects such as an unsharpened pencil with extreme precision and the hope is that this idea can be built upon and used with the aspirator.